Hello everyone, welcome to HDFC Securities Derivative Webinar Session 4. I'm Sony Patai and I have with me Ashish Anna who will be joining us for today's session. And uh, just to take you what are we going to cover today. So we'll take you through a quick recap of all the three webinars that we've conducted. And it will be a quick webinar and post that I would uh, hand over the floor to, to Mr. Ashish who will take you through the entire demo of how we can trade and how to use all our um, you know, trading platforms that we have available with us, right? So we begin. Take you through the first slide. Just a quick recap of what derivative is, what are its advantages, and how to use it. So as we know, derivative is a financial instrument whose value is derived from an underlying asset. But that underlying asset can be equity, can be forex, can be commodity, can be anything. So derivative always has a lot of you know uses, but the major strength, like I've shared in the first webinar, was where it has it provides you a rich load of data or information, which even non-traders can use to understand the sentiment. So this is the biggest strength of derivative. Apart from this, we have more important uses such as hedging and risk management. Hedging, which we covered in a previous webinar session, is where we understood what hedging was and how risk was managed with it. So hedging was nothing but, uh, you know, we consider it as an insurance where any kind of negative event is going to come in and hedge our positions to protect ourselves or protect our unrealized gains from those negative. So it's considered as an insurance. So we covered what, uh, you know, how, how we can go about and hedging and how we can manage the risk before arriving in such risk, uh, you know, before arriving such negative uh, events that can happen in the market anytime. Then we have other uses such as we have leverage, high liquidity, lower transaction cost, and the uh, other most important advantage would be arbitrage trading, where we take the advantage of a mismatch in a security in, in two different uh, two different markets. So this is what arbitrage is all about. So these are the most important uses and benefits of derivatives. And uh, to also understand that in derivative, we only require a prefixed margin, let's say about 20%, which is required to trade in futures. And in option trading, we just require the premium amount. Whereas we understand in cash segment, if you have to trade, we require the 100% margin. So this is another benefit of derivative trading. And the difference between futures and options, both are contracts, both are financial instruments, both are derivatives both have a standardized contract also so, but there's just one minor you know uh, difference between future and option it would be that in futures the buyers are obligated to honor the contract but in options the buyers are not uh, obligated to actually buy or sell end of the contract in futures it is preferred mostly by speculators and arbitrage to do the trading Whereas options is mostly preferred by hedgers to hedge their position because of the because of the risk reward issue. In futures, we can have something called as like unlimited profit and unlimited loss as well. Whereas in option, in case of option buying only, we have limited risk but unlimited profit. So this is the key difference between future and option. Moving on to the next slide. We had covered some important indicators such as open interest, put call ratio, volatility, rollovers. We'll just take you through a quick recap of what these important indicators were. Open interest, again, is nothing but the number of outstanding contracts or open contracts that are kept open and are not squared off. So this is what open interest for. And we always paired open interest with price action and volume action to understand what kind of activity was taking trading up. So like, for example, if the price was positive and open interest was positive, we said it's a long builder position. When it's a long builder position, it means that fresh longs are being uh, built up generally and the trend for that particular stock seems bullish. Similar, if the open interest is positive and the price is negative, it's a short builder position. If your open interest is negative and your price is positive, we say it's a short covering. If your open interest is positive, negative and your price is also negative, we say it's a long unwinding. So this is the importance of understanding what trend the security is going to have in the coming session. And this could be figured out through a open interest activity. So this is the most important indicator of derivative. 
Then again, we've covered volatility. In layman terms, volatility is nothing but the uncertainty. So if we say a security has higher volatility, it means that it can actually have rapid movements or rapid ups and downs in the current trading session. But if a security has low volatility, we say that it would not move a lot or dramatically actually. It wouldn't move much, much dramatically in its trading session. So this is what volatility means. And its importance in option pricing was when volatility or a volatility index that we call as VIX. If a volatility is high, we say that it, the option premiums are also at relatively higher levels. If the volatility is low, the option premiums are also at relatively lower levels. So this is its importance in option pricing. We also understood what put call ratio was commonly known as PCR. Uh, you know, the put call ratios formula was quite simple. The PCR is equal to your total traded put contracts divided by the total traded call contracts. If your PCR is rising, it usually indicates strength in that particular stock and your PCR is falling, it usually indicates weakness in that particular stock. So this is another important indicator that we covered in our sessions. And the last that we covered was important indicator was rollover activity where we understood rollover was nothing but squaring of the position in the current month and taking a, a similar position in the same stock in the next month or the uh, farm month. So this is what rollover activity was. When we combine rollover activity with understanding the rollover cost, it, uh, the rollover cost that was acquired to do the you know, rollover action in the next session, in the next uh, you know, month. So combining both, we could understand what the sentiment in that particular stock or the security was to be likely in the next uh, in the next contract. What rollover activity And in the last webinar session in the previous, that was session we covered the importance of hedging where we covered in details what kinds of different kinds of hedging that we had like beta hedging delta hedging and what is the importance of beta hedging when it should be done beta hedging usually goes against portfolio you know to handle portfolios to manage portfolios and it, uh, it's usually done in futures index futures whereas delta hedging is mostly done in options so these are the different kinds of hedging that we had covered we also covered something called as spread hedging where there are different kinds of limited loss, limited profit kind of scenario strategies that can be done as spread hedging, such as bull call spread, bear put spread, bull put spread, and bear put spread. So these are the different, uh, four different kinds of spread hedging that we had. So obviously we covered only two out of those. So these are the importance of hedging. So different kinds of strategies that were used in hedging. And you remember the importance of hedging obviously because more of the markets can actually move in any direction. It's better to hedge the position. Instead of facing that limit, uh, instead of facing that risk and loss come position. So whether you have a portfolio, you don't have a portfolio, whether you're taking a fresh position, despite regardless of all these parameters, it is always important to stay hedged to reduce the risk. So these were the important things that we've covered in all our webinar sessions and uh, the instruments available for you to trade would be index futures, stock options, index options, and stock options. And positions that one you can take in all these instruments would be a buy and a sell position. So this was a quick recap of derivative of all the things that we covered. Now I'll uh, hand over the floor to Mr. Ashish who would explain us in details how to check up privileges, derivative privileges, how to trade in the four, you know, how, uh, you know all, all the platforms that we have. And I think, uh, you know, that would be quite interesting to understand. So this would be to begin with us, how to trade them, right? So over to you, Ashish. Thank you, Sony. Uh, well, let me, uh, I'm really glad to inform you uh, that we have four digital platforms if we want to transact in derivatives. Okay, we have two web-based and we have two mobile based so web based would be our empowered login portal that we usually use while trading and recently we have launched uh, our new application called as pro terminal so through that also uh, it's again it's a web based tool so from there also you can transact in derivatives and equities as well and mobile based we have our regular mobile trading app and we have a pro terminal mobile trading 
So these four digital platforms are available uh, Sony in case if uh, customers want to transact in derivatives with us. Okay. And uh, now before uh, you first you need to have a privilege of derivative. Okay. So if you have the access, if you have the privilege of derivative, then you can seamlessly transact with us. Okay. That definitely you can check whether your privilege is activated or not. So first let me show you where you can see your status of the privilege derivative privilege and then I will also guide you in case if your privilege is not activated what is the process of doing. So let me just show you on the system okay. So for that you have to be on our website www.hdfcsecurities.com click on login enter the login credentials and once you log in this is how the your login page looks like okay so here under the extreme bottom you can see on the right hand side there is an option called as my privileges so you just need to click here and you can see whether your privilege is allowed or not allowed so in this scenario you can see nsc equity is allowed derivatives allowed currency not allowed bsc equity allowed so mf and all these things so here when you see your derivative privilege is not allowed that means first thing is that you need to activate your privilege and the best part is that no paperwork that can be done online let me show you how so for that you just need to go to our pre-login website that's www.hdfcsec.com okay just you need to click on products tab under which you will find an option of under derivative section you will find the last option as derivative privilege so you just need to click on it the moment you click you get the registration form you can click on future and option in case if you would want to activate for currency derivative you can select that as well accept the terms and conditions and click on proceed now here it will ask you to enter your login credential Okay, so the moment you click on proceed, sorry about that. Okay. So the, the, the moment you click on proceed, it will ask you to upload your, you have to answer a few basic uh, questions like your income range and you have to upload one of your income document. Okay. So you can select your income range from here or wherever you stand and then you can select the document type whether you would like to submit your ITR acknowledgement form 16 salary slip, bank account statement of last six months or DMAT account holding statement. So these are alternative options as well. So generally I prefer, you know, we can just either we can log into our net banking and take our DMAT account holding statement. It is instant. I can get that online or I can just click on bank account statement. I can download that statement and I can upload here. So either a bank account statement or a DMAT holding statement both can do good with us. We just have to select that, upload that file. So first you need to download this in PDF format on your desktop and after that you have to come here to activate the privilege. Just choose the file and submit it. The moment you submit it will just take about two working days T plus two for uh, getting your privilege activated. So the moment your privilege is activated now you can start your transactions in derivatives with us. Okay. Now let me quickly show you first how you can do that on our web based platforms. Okay, so for that you have to log in. Now the moment you log in, this is how the login section looks like. 
so you would definitely like to know as a customer sony that you know what to buy in terms of where where is the research part in derivative so that's right so here we have a trading calls option so you can just click on this it will expand and here you can see which asset class that you are looking out for whether it's equity mutual fund or derivative you can select derivative and you would like to know the open calls definitely so in case if you want to review the closed calls you can do that as well closed and expires however once you click on open and click on go you can see the options available right these are all the options which has been available in fno segment okay so this is future stock again all this future now here we have option stock as well so all these calls are available now since this is a sell call so you can see this minus button the moment you click on this us the transaction panel will open if you are clicking on plus sign that means it's a buy call the moment you click on it the buy panel will get open okay so let me show you and the best part is that all these details like exchange and other informations are auto populated i just have to enter my actionables that's my lot size and my price and uh, i am good to go so this is how this looks like segment is already selected as derivative sell exchange product type okay now here again uh, these are the various options through which you can do margin you can select if you want to carry forward your position intraday would be again for uh, a day validity for a day right you have to square off before 3 o'clock and cover order again it's an uh, intraday order which comes along with the sell order to limit your loss so these are the three options you can select any of them that you are looking forward and just enter the contract size and the price and just need to click on place order and your order would be successfully placed and the same way is for buy panel you can see okay you can click on plus sign again this window is open details are auto populated you just have to select your actionables and place order price and the quantity that is your contract size how many lot size that you would like to go with and just click on place order in case if you want to know the quotes about it you can just click on get quote option which is available here and you can get the latest quote about that particular script or about that index however there is alternative option as well available this was from the research part okay which is available on the home screen there is a widget as trading calls so you need to expand that okay in case if you do not have it we have the option you can click on add widget from here you have to select trading calls and the widget will be get added over you now you can expand it and you can see which calls you are looking out as i said you are checking out derivative calls select the open calls and go and this is how you get all the information uh, about the calls that has been published by our research team okay now alternatively you can uh, directly buy and sell from here as well for that you just need to click on buy that's a quick buy panel available here okay however you can go in derivatives and you can do from here also you can purchase whether you want to purchase a future index or a future stock option index or option stock so all these options are available here also and this is a quick panel available here as well so the moment you click on buy product you have to select derivative now here these are again the index that you want to go with uh, future index or you want to go with future stock you want to go with option index or you want to go with option stock and again you have to select the product intraday or margin if you want to carry forward enter the script name and your actionable that you would like to go for and just you have to click on place order and uh, that's how by sim few simple steps you can place orders in futures and options with hdfc securities account that you hold and we you can check your status of your order from your order book okay the moment you click on order book you can not only check order book you can check your trade book your open positions as well as your net position as well so this information you will get under the derivative tab in report section order book trade book open book and open position and net positions right and now let me quickly show you the alternative as i just told you about uh, that we have web based uh, we have two platforms under web based one is 
this empowered which i have just showed you right now and another one we have is pro terminal so like you just have to click here and this is how the pro terminal looks like uh, sony will this is a very advanced platform what i would say uh, you know for our investors for our traders to have because you get the news across the globe on this particular platform across the brokers across the various analysts and the economists what they put across all this information you can get here whether the news is trending news or there is a live streaming all this information is available on this platform and this truly gives me like a terminal like experience as if i am right there in, in the you know standing next to a stock exchange and doing my transactions right so let me show you how so this is the watch list part okay so you just need to click on news click on equities and here you go so you can see all the streaming news over here you can see the recommendations over here you can see the trending news over here and it's nicely presented in fact sony you know you can get all this information available out here okay again this was for equities you can same you can do it for currency and if you're looking for a global market how the international markets are performing you can definitely uh, view in this way okay so and the best part is that we have uh, this was a news view if you want to have a map view we have a map view as well right so these are the things which are available out here okay and then we have uh, charts available the real time charts these are the real time charts that are prepared now since it is after market hours we would unable to check but during market hours uh, viewers or customers can see the live charts that how it gets prepared whether it's going to be 1 minute 3 minute 5 minute whatever as per your requirement you can select you can put across the various tools that are available you can see the list from here you can add the studies which has been here and accordingly take more informed decision so basically this platform is there available so that investor can take more informed decision right and here you have to go to markets you have to click on fno and uh, you have to you can then see this basic information uh, what's been happening okay we have a wonderful tool called as called as 15 minute build up and here on every 15 minutes you can see what has been happening uh, whether it's long and winding or it is long built up or it is shorting everything all this information is available out here and one more uh, interesting part out here what you can see is that uh, you if you are if you are having any view on any particular stock or index you can put across that it may be bullish or it may be bearish and the uh, strategies are auto formed so let me show you how you can do that so after clicking on fno from markets you just need to click Uh, on the left hand side you can see uh, strategies over here the second last option you just need to click on strategies and then uh, you can select uh, say for example if we are talking about nifty right now so let's let me just take it uh, a view by till 26th okay so uh, if i want to put i'm thinking that it will go to 11000 so all i have to just put across the amount what i'm looking at and then i need just need to click here for the strategy so now the system will create the strategies and all these strategies are created so bull call spread bull call spread again then we have long double vertical spread long strangle so all these uh, strategies are defined and you can see uh, what exactly you need to do so you need to buy one nifty of 28th uh, june contract at 1900 okay and uh, that would be at uh, sorry 10900 at uh, 24 rupees 50 paise and at the same time you can put a sell in nifty at the at rupees 13 rupees 8 paise and here you can see your risk reward ratio as well so as on 26 june if what you decided what you thought what you have been uh, speculating if it goes right so this is what you will be ending up on and the profitability on uh, you know the probability on your profit would as on 26 june would be about 50% and you can see the chart how this will go and where how what would be the point where you will achieve your maximum profit so this graphical presentation is also available out here what would be your maximum profit and uh, how you can go about it
So these are the details available, the strategies available under this section. So I think Ashish, we can place orders through Pro Terminal also. Yes, of course, you can place orders through Pro Terminal. Let me show you how you say, for example, you can add your contracts, uh, you know, you, whatever uh, that whether it is a future or option contract that you're looking out for, you can just add that in the to watch list. OK, let me just show you how to do that. I have already added this one, right? So the moment I've added in my watch list, I just have to click here and I need to click on buy. The moment I click on buy, this buy panel gets open. I just need to again enter the quantity, the price and my order type whether i'm looking for an intraday whether i'm looking for a margin or a cover order and just i have to click on place order and my order would be placed okay. right now let me show you how you can do that say for example if i'm looking out at nifty so these are the fno information which is available uh, and these are the contracts available and here we can see information about how much what would be my margins and what would be my premiums and a graphical uh, presentation as well right okay so this is also showing me the all the data about uh, you know fno data how much open interest is there you know all the 15 minutes built up is also there and so all all data related to derivative is there in the pro term so I think it's quite nice and over here also if I can see there's a strategy button yes. so I can just click on it and go to the strategy from here also that's right so this is quite convenient also I think it's giving quite good uh, you know accurate real-time data so it, it's going to help me to you know it, it's going to help everyone actually to take informed decisions based on this data that's right same goes with stocks say for example if you're looking out for any of the stocks so I'll show you how it will, where you can, uh, from how you can actually select the FNO section. This is the overview of that particular script that we have been selected. Okay, from here, this is for equity. We need to click on FNO. And again, uh, we can see all this information and the contracts available. And from here, I can add to watch list. Right? So any, either we can do directly entering into the script and then going about uh, the FNO section or even if we can just directly if we type in so we can see the futures contract available so these are the two options how you can search and how you can get through add into the watch list and then make a transaction in that so even if you're not if you have not added in your watch list you can directly click on buy from here uh, sorry buy from here from this section because this belongs to equity for FNO, this section is there because you are under FNO uh, tab and click on buy. Again, this buy panel will get open. You will get the market depth over here and you just need to again enter the contract size and the, and the price and you're good to go with the order. So that's about our pro terminal app application that we have on, which is again a web based. Okay, now I will quickly take you through our mobile application as well and the pro terminal mobile application where you can see the information and how you can place the order okay. okay so now let's quickly switch to it Okay, so uh, you just need to click on our HDFC first. I'll take you through our mobile application, mobile normal uh, mobile trading application. So you just need to. This has been downloaded by more than five lakh customers, and uh, all our customers are using our mobile application and getting benefited, right? So the moment you log into the mobile application, I have already logged in right now. Okay, so the moment you click on login button, it will ask you to enter your credentials enter the credentials and uh, this is how the home screen look like okay from here uh, again first let me tell you where you will get the research you need to click on more option which is available here okay the moment you click on more uh, this information is popped up and then you have to select 
first second is trading third is portfolio fourth option is research so just need to click on research and then you have an option of derivative just click on derivative and then you will get all the calls available here so the call these calls are already closed because you can see the information written here whether it is a close or open okay so this arvind uh, is open right now that's of 28 june contract right so this is a sell call again this is also an open so this is how the information will be displayed and all you have to do is just you have to click to make that transaction and this buy pin panel will uh, the sell panel will open if it's a sell call buy panel will open if it's a buy call again all the details are pre-filled you just need to select your actionables your product type whether it's going to be a margin or intraday contract and the price and just you need to click on place sell order so that is how simple it is uh, sony you know because uh, sharing getting access to a laptop or a you know computer while traveling is really at times difficult so here our mobile application plays a really very important role that you can trade whether it's equity or it's derivative you can trade on the go wherever you are just you need to have your good internet connection right okay so this is how you can do it from the research section all right and uh, this is for futures and this is for options these calls are again closed so you can check this and make informed decision as per our research team all right now also you can click on trade option from here also you can buy this option is also available from here also you can buy but you need to fill in all the information you need to select the product as derivative you need to select the exchange you need to select your action whether it's going to be a buy or a sell product type whether it's going to be intraday margin and followed by the order type whether it's going to be limit or market contract and your price so that is how you can place orders with hdfc securities mobile trading app similarly we have a pro terminal application available okay so i will now tell you about the pro terminal application as well okay so you just need to click on pro terminal mobile app you can again download this application from play store or app store you just need to type hdfc securities pro terminal and you will get that okay once you install it enter your credential this is how the logged in section look like okay so here you can see the indices and their valuation and followed by now if you want to trade in indices you just need to click on trade indices automatically you can see nifty comes up and the available contracts the three contracts you just click on any of the contract again on this small screen you can get a lot of information so you can see the overview the chart okay you can see the market depth what's been happening and you can see real time the statistics what's been happening in terms of the open interest right and you have already mentioned to check the PCR and all those things, right? The volume as well as the price and the rollover. Every all this information is pretty much available in this section. You can see, right? Here also you get the graphical presentation of the open interest, what's been happening. And in this section again, you get the information about what's been open, high, low, previous close, and what has been the average price. So this again, if I want to add this particular uh, contract to my watch list, all I have to do is just click here and it would be added to my watch list right that is how very simple and easy it is and then we have option so if i want to buy here is a buy and a sell option available so i just need to click on buy 
this order panel is open wherein i need to again enter my contract my lot size how many lots that i'm going with in this scenario in multiples of 75 and i just need to select the price and click on confirm and my order will be successfully placed even here also if i want to see some information it is very much available whether it is i want to see the limits i want to see my market depth i want to see my resistance and support level so all this information is very much available and the quotes right so again let me go back so i just need to click here confirm and my order will be placed so that's how you can place order in this particular and now we specifically if i am looking out any particular as a stock feature or a stock uh, option so the moment i click here i will get all this information available under this this will be again the first part would be of equity and then you have hdfc bank fno so the moment you click on it this information is popped up at your place on your screen you can see the price you can see the stock details you can see the depth you can see the statistics available and you can take more informed decision the moment you click on buy again uh, you just have to select your quantity your that's your contract your lot size and your price information and just click on confirm so through this also you can check you can place the orders and this is a fantastic tool which gives a lot of information to investors when it comes to taking more informed decision right sony here also you can see derivative section under this derivative section if you click you get to know what's happening in the market what are the stocks whether it's uh, uh, stock options or a stock futures what they have been trading and how things are happening right and say for example if i just click on maruti so here you know i could get all this information about this particular script again uh, of this contract now if you want to see uh, the next month contract or probably you want to see the far month contract you there is an option available here you just need to click here you can see this is 28 june expiry this is 26 july and for 30th august so all this information is very much available for you as an investor uh, sony what you are looking out what to buy where to buy and how to buy i guess i have uh, take you through today for this right so thank you so much ashish i think uh, you know it's been quite a detailed and informed this is informed uh, session on all our trading platforms very nicely and i think this is all that we've covered so you can view all the webinars we have all the recorded webinars in this URL. We can go through all one by one again to understand what derivative is, why is it important to trade, why how how derivatives can be useful and helpful to you, and how you can trade with us. So we have all the webinars in this URL. So you can, like you know, visit everything once again. We have the PPTs also there, so it's for your uh, you know your beneficial, your helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, you can type in the question and certainly I will try to answer all to the questions post this webinar session. Thank you so much. Stay tuned with us. We will be coming up with a lot more webinars. Basics, uh, you know, understand more and more of derivative. And uh, thank you so much for participating. Thank you. And again, I'll get back to you with all the questions. Right. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining.